Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is um, another video talking about the May 2020 update. We saw today that it's now at 33.7% uh, of all the um, Windows 10 versions. That means that means that one third, roughly, or about 300 to 400 million people, have now updated their PCs to version 2004. I get regular comments about people saying, well, you know, uh, I, I heard so many things about the May 2020 update and problems, and I, I don't want to go there because uh, I think that, you know, maybe they didn't fix it. Or First of all, the majority of problems that were uh, talked about in the release in the month or so, month and a half after the release, are pretty much all fixed. Second, um, most blockers and most things that happen, um, you know, it doesn't show. If you go to your Windows updates and the settings, because it's not pushed to you. So if you don't go to Windows updates, it might actually be available to you, but you don't know. By going to <coughs> update and security <coughs> and clicking the check for updates, you should see uh, Windows 10 May 2020 update appear on your computer. If you do, that simply means that it should be safe to install. Now, with so many people now on the May 2020 update, the background noise that I call, which is the number of people that have problems, is extremely low, which shows us that the update is actually really good right now. I still get people saying, well, I'm waiting for that SSD fix. It's been fixed for a while now. Uh, that is, uh, if, you, if you still have that problem, you ha don't have the latest updates installed, that's for sure. For those that are updating, you're going to get the latest version as when you update, the cumulative updates also install with it. So at the end, when you actually are with a working computer, it actually is uh, going to be to the latest version. Now, one of the things that you need to know is that if you move on to the May 2020 update, it'll make it much easier for you if you want to move on to the October 2020 update. For a simple reason, it's the same version with some features switched on, including that new style of start menu that I often talk about <clears throat> and some new icons and so on. So by moving to the May 2020 update, you are going to have a smooth transition to the October 2020 update as it's just going to be a little cumulative update. It's not going to take too much time to install. No big, you know, restarts uh, and, and like several hours of install. It'll be much quicker. Once again, if you see it in Windows, Windows update, it means you are OK. There is no problem with the install itself and um, you know three to four hundred million people roughly are now on that version and we don't get that much um, you know people going crazy there's one side of things that which is Lenovo some Lenovo machines have blocked still and some report that are problems Microsoft and Lenovo are actually working together to see how they can fix that so it's kind of halfway between Microsoft fix and halfway uh, probably Lenovo checking out what is happening. It would seem that um, it's something that has to do with your uh, UEFI BIOS. Uh, there's a feature that if you turn it off, actually it makes your upgrade okay. It's, it's an internal feature that's turned on by default that actually is causing problems for some people. Uh, when you turn it off, Windows works perfectly fine. So it's kind of a mix of something that um, I don't know where the fix is going to be, if Microsoft's going to fix it in some way, or if Lenovo needs to update with, you know, drivers or something that will fix it. That's where it gets complicated. You know, the Windows world compared to other, to, to Mac, for example, is, um, you know, running on so many different configurations. And um, it's it's pretty amazing that it, it works sometimes. So the rollout is going much faster also. Uh, this is showing us that now Microsoft is pushing ahead. And there's a reason why also it's getting much faster. If you're on the October 2019 update, remember, 
Next month is our last Patch Tuesday update for security. That means after next month, if you haven't moved on to a more recent version of Windows 10, you're not getting security updates, and that's a big problem. Also, um, if you're on the May 2019 update, you also are getting close to end of support. It's in December. The May 2019 update End of support is Patch Tuesday of December of this year. That also isn't very far away. That means you also will be forced upgraded to the latest version. These two versions are getting forced upgrade. If you're on the November 2019 update, of course, that is your, you're okay for until early next year. And uh, like I said, you know, it's going to make the transition to October 2019 update a little easier. Uh, 2020 update, sorry, uh, a little easier if you move on to the May 2020 update as uh, pretty much everything is fixed and it works definitely very well uh, on for most people. Once again, a lot of the first wave of problems came from people that pushed it, that wanted to have it immediately, even though it was not showing up in Windows updates. That's always a problem. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.